To what extent does a scientist have to sell his or her soul to work for a big pharma company? <laughs> My view is they do not have to sell it at all. I've worked for a very large pharmaceutical and healthcare companies. My first seven years of my career with Procter & Gamble, R&D. The next eight years for Cyril slash Monsanto, because Cyril got bought by Monsanto. Okay. One of your favorite companies. Okay. I, I, I did mention selling your soul to the devil. Did I mention that? Oh, yeah. I meant to go ahead. No, after you, you didn't sell your soul when you were working for Monsanto. Now tell me all about it. No, no. And then after that, for 10 years with uh, Baxter International Healthcare. As far as I'm concerned, in the, what, 40 years I've been working in the industry, I've never once felt like I've had to, quote, sell out. I've been able to maintain my own counsel as I go through things. And it's uh, so, so selling out now, no, I don't think, especially R&D guys. R&D guys are a different breed than marketing, sales, uh, all the other aspects. I worked for a company for many years where there was a sign by the president's door which said, no lab coats past this point. <laughs> Never once did I feel like I had to compromise my science or integrity in the process. You understand why I asked the question? Sure. Sure. Working for Monsanto would constitute soul selling to many. Well, that's if you believe that Monsanto is the great evil out there trying to impart these terrible things on the poor public citizen. And, and frankly, uh, I'd rather be in the mix and being part of trying to figure out what the right thing is to do, then on the outside, looking in and complaining, oh, they're, they're doing some sort of terrible thing. Are you saying that you believe that you have had some positive impact on the evil, money-grubbing corporate monsters <laughs> for whom you've worked? I just think people are potentially misinformed or misaligned with what's going on because I, I honestly believe that what's good for the people, whether it's healthcare or a new drug or whatever, is also good for the company. Because if the company puts out lousy drugs, or things that don't work or make people more sick or whatever it might be, they're not going to be around very long. So, so they must be doing something right because people are buying their products, getting healthier, and uh, the companies continue to thrive. What's good for Big Pharma is good for the world. Drug companies charge obscenely high prices that are mostly paid by insurance companies. Meanwhile, we consumers get really great, reliable drugs. What's wrong with this? Is anything wrong with this? Oh, I'd sure love to know your thoughts on that. So please leave a comment below and if you like this video, like this video, just like it right now. Just go like, like, click, thumbs up, you know how it goes. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Look forward to hearing from you and until I do, don't forget to science the day.